Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Radio Group and how to make radio buttons in Android Studio. It's pretty simple, let's get started. Create a new project with empty activity and go to activitymain.xml, then split the code. Suppose we are making a quiz game with answers to questions. And the first question will be which is heavier? Let's increase the font size. Text size 30 is P. It's good. Next, add a radio group. Radio group, wrap content, wrap content, close the tag. And inside radio group, let's add three radio buttons. Radio button, wrap content, wrap content, close the tag. Next, add the text to radio button. This is an answer to the, to the question. Text 1 kilo of cotton. Next copy this radio button and paste. The second answer is 1 kilo of iron. And the third answer same weight. OK. We have a problem. The view is not constrained. OK. Let's fix it. Select radio group. Take the top point and drag it to, to the bottom of our text view. OK. Next center it horizontally. OK, now move the text up. And finally, let's add the button. After the radio group, button, wrap content, wrap content, close the tag, and text is apply. After that, drag it to the bottom of radio group, center, that's good. And finally, to display, to display message when a response option is selected, let's add a text field between the button and the radio group. New text view, wrap content, wrap content, text, tools text, wrong answer. OK. And let's replace it after radio group and button replace after wrong answer. OK. Center. That's good. Next, add the ID to our elements. ID plus ID XML button. Next, XML text answer. OK. ID XML radio same. XML radio iron. Cotton. XML radio group. And XML text question. OK. We have lost the arrangement of elements. Let's fix it. Radio group. Next answer. And next button. That's good. Layout is ready. Go to main activity Kotlin file. How to get selected radio button value from radio group? Well, radio ID equals radio group. Let's find a radio group. Radio group equals find view by ID, radio group type, and r.id.xml radio group. OK. And to get selected radio button value, write dot and Checked radio button ID. OK. Create a radio button with checked ID. Find view by ID. Type as radio button with radio ID. Radio ID. It's good. Next, we can add text to our text field. To do this, let's find text view. Text answer equals find view by ID. Type as text view, resource.id.xml text answer. It's a mistake. Let's fix it. Text answer and constrain it to text answer. OK. And rename it here. Text answer. That's good. We need to replace the curly bracket at the end of the code because this code should be inside the onCreate function. And let's change val instead var. It's better. Next, let's set the text to our text view answer. To do this, write text answer dot text equals correct answer. You have earned one dollar. There are a couple of points. Firstly, such text will be set when the button is clicked after the user has decided on the answer. So we need to set up a button click listener. Let's find a button element, button apply equals 
find view by id, button type, resource.id.xml button. And next, set on click listener to button apply. Dot set on click listener. Curly brackets and replace this code inside set on click listener. That's good. And the second point, the approval text will only be set when the correct answer is selected. If radio bottom dot text brackets equals same weight, then text view dot text is a correct answer. Else text view dot text is a wrong answer. You have lost ten dollars, for example. Let's check how it works. Let's run the application. Let's choose any answer, for example, the first answer, and click apply. Wrong answer, the next answer, apply, wrong answer, and the last answer, same way, it apply, it's a correct answer. It's good. If you want to set the default radio group value, then go to activitymain.xml, choose any radio button, and write checked is true. We run the application, and we have the default radio button value at the first button. That's good, but what if we want to set the text value when we choose the answer without clicking to the button? Return to main activity and after on create method, let's create a check radio function. Next, go to activity main.xml and for each radio button add this function. On click, check radio, paste and paste. Return to main activity. Let's set radio group here, radio ID and radio button. When the button is checked, let's add the toast message. Toast this selected radio button, radio button dot text. Then length of toast message shot along and next show it at toast dot make text here that's good let's run the application the default value is not needed if we are not going to confirm by pressing the applied button to delete it delete this row checked is true we run choose any value we have the error because could not find method check radio view go to main activity and we need to Enter the parameter view is a view type. OK, let's input view and rerun the application. Choose the value and we have the toast message, the second value and the third value. It works perfectly. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for the watching. Like, subscribe. Have a nice day. Have a good coding. See you next time.